In this video, we're going to look at how to find the minimum or maximum value of a parabola when it's given to you in standard form. So here I have a quadratic function, which we know is the graph of a parabola. And the question is, does this have a minimum or a maximum value? And then what is the minimum or maximum value? So really all we need to do to think about whether it has a minimum or a maximum is know whether this parabola opens up or down. And hopefully you've had some experience with that. This value right here, the a value of the quadratic function, remember a quadratic function is in the form f of x, standard form, equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And this a value, if that a value is positive, uh, let's write this down here. If the a value is positive, then the parabola opens up. If the a value is negative, the parabola opens down. So if we just do a little sketch, let's say I have a parabola that opens up. That parabola, the vertex is down here, this parabola has a minimum. If the parabola opens down, the vertex is up here, and this parabola has a maximum. So if you just look at the a value, you can determine very quickly whether it has a maximum or a minimum. For this particular value, our a value is 4, and our a value is greater than 0. So that means our parabola opens up and has a minimum. Cool, minimum. Now, what is that minimum value? Well, that minimum value or the maximum value when we do that is going to be the y value of the vertex, okay? So the y value of the vertex here is the minimum and the y value of the vertex here is the maximum. So we need to find the vertex. That's what we need to do. And hopefully you remember a slick little formula to find the vertex when you have a parabola in standard form is negative b over 2a and then f of negative b over 2a to find the y value. So when we find our vertex, this value right here is going to be the minimum value. That's going to be our minimum. That's what we need to find. All right, let's do it. So in order to find this minimum, we first have to find the x value of the vertex, which is negative b, b is 20, over 2 times a, which is 4. So that gives me negative 20 over 8, which is negative 2 and 4 eighths, or negative 2 and a half. All right, so now to find the y value of the vertex, we simply plug in negative 2 and a half into our function, and that would give me 4 times negative 2 and a half squared plus 20 times negative 2 and a half, take away 21. All right, let's get out the calculator and see what this is. We get negative 46. So that tells me the vertex is at negative 2.5, negative 46, and this parabola opens up. Let's take a look at a picture. Here we go. Here's my vertex at negative 2.5, negative 46. The parabola opens up, so the minimum value is the y value. The minimum value is negative 46. Okay, it's not the vertex, it's not the x value of the vertex, it is the y value of the vertex. We're really talking about minimum output. Okay, if this was like time, I don't know if that makes sense here, and this was temperature, then I'd be, what is the minimum temperature? I'd be asking, what is the minimum temperature? here? Maybe this time is at noon and this would be two and a half hours before noon or something, if, if the y-axis represented noon. I do not want to be here. That's, that's cold. Okay, let's have you try this one. Pause the video. Does it have a minimum or a maximum? And find that minimum or maximum. 
Well, let's see. First thing we need to do is check out this A value. That's negative. So what is my parabola going to look like? It's going to open down. So that tells me this vertex Y value is going to give me the maximum, the top of the hill. All right, let's find that vertex. So the X value of the vertex is negative B, which is 1 over 2 times A. So that gives me negative 1 divided by negative half. These negative divided by negative, they're gonna, that's going to give me a positive. And a half goes into 1 twice. Another way you could think about that is 1 times the reciprocal of the denominator here. All right, so the y value of the vertex is negative 1 fourth times 2 squared. Got to plug it in and find the y value. Plus 2 minus 8. Let's see what we get. We get negative 1 fourth times 4. That's convenient because those 4s will cancel. I don't have to reach for my calculator. Those fours cancel. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Take away 8 is negative 7. All right, so that tells me that this vertex right here is at 2, negative 7. So the actual maximum value is negative 7. Can you have a maximum that's a negative? Absolutely. This parabola opens down and my maximum value is negative 7. Now interestingly, pretend like we don't we hadn't looked at that. If you know your maximum value is negative 7, that's as high as your parabola gets and your parabola opens down while well, your vertex is at 2 negative 7, right? Let me get rid of this. So your vertex is at uh, 2 negative 7 and you know your parabola opens down, you know those two things you can decide right there, this doesn't have any x-intercepts. If I tried to solve this quadratic formula, I'd come up with a negative in the discriminant. Just from those two pieces of information, you get some information about the x-intercepts. All right, guys, I hope that helped you find the minimum and maximum of a parabola when you start doing story problems, which students get challenged with. If you see these words in a story problem, it's yelling at you. Can you hear it? It's saying, here, let me, it's saying, it's saying it, not a thought bubble. It's saying it. Find the vertex. I get lots of emails from students that say, I don't know how to find these minimums or maximums. And I just say, find the vertex. And they're like, oh, that's all I need to do? Yes. When it is a parabola, if your function is quadratic and the story problem is asking you to find the minimum or the maximum value in some application, find the y value of the vertex and that is your answer.